But, um, what was I talking about? God, don't you hate that? Like when you're in the middle of explaining something or telling a story and you just forget what you're talking about. Hi, it's Kika Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another review on Beauty 21. I don't know why it says Beauty 21, but I ordered it from LA Colors. So I don't know if it's like owned by Beauty 21 Cosmetics or something, but... Packages. I bought this with my own monies. Money that I don't have. <laughs> Everyone is raving about this foundation, so so I just had to go and try it out. See what I ordered. I ordered oh I ordered wait, wait. Oh no. Okay. I ordered two blushes, one setting powder, and four foundations. I didn't know exactly what color was going to fit to mine, so we'll see which one fits me the best. It's like early Christmas. I think this is my first time actually ordering foundation from online. Hopefully this is good. I mean, the reviews that I have seen on it, everyone says that it's really full coverage or as the LA Colors website says, high pigment. I have no eyebrows on because I just can't apply foundation when I already have my eyebrows on. Some foundation will always get on my eyebrows and I have to redo them anyway. So I always do my foundation first. Oh, and I'm also really happy because as you can see, <laughs> I have no eyelashes. So before we get into this tutorial or this review, I'm just gonna like <laughs> tell you a little story. <laughs> One of my friends, she got eyelash extensions and they looked really good. And I was kind of hesitant at first because when I got lash extensions, when I got lash extensions, probably seven, eight years ago, my friend in high school, her mom owned like a nail salon and she was trying out like lash extensions. So I just let her try them on me and that was like a really big mistake because it irritated the fuck out of my eyes never doing that again i ripped that shit off hurt like a fucking bitch <coughs> but you know this time i was like oh they look really good maybe my friend's mom in high school just did them wrong or something like that but last week my best friend came and visited and i went to go get the lash extensions that lady was like pulling my eye all the way up there you know putting the lashes on i swear she applied them with like some tar. Shit was so hard to get off. The first day, it was really irritating my eye. I actually had to go back after we left and tell her to take some off in the front because they were bothering me so much. My best friend said they didn't bother her at all, so maybe it's just me because I have really sensitive eyes. I finally ripped all of them off earlier this morning and I'm like surprised that I even have eyelashes left. It was a horrible experience and I'm probably never ever going to do that ever again. Unless I do it them myself, which I kind of want to try. Glue that she used, she put it like a shit ton of glue. And I feel like you're not supposed to put that much glue. So I don't know if she just did them wrong. And you know, it was 20 bucks. So maybe it was like done horribly. I just bought some individual lashes. So I might make a video and try to do like my own lash extensions or something like that. Do a review on that. Tutorial on that. I don't know. Okay, rant is over. So I bought four different foundation shades. I'm gonna open these. Don't you just like love? I love doing that. I love doing. Oh, it's kind of like a weird shape. It's like when you look at it from this side, it's like completely like, like tubular, and this side like looks more like it's going out like fatter. Or maybe it's just the lighting. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna open the rest of these. You know, like when the, just the plastic sticks, sticks to your finger. So the reason I bought these foundations is because I love wearing full coverage. And with the Maybelline, Maybelline foundation, I have to add a second layer because it's like medium coverage and I have a lot of dark spots and like acne and stuff that I like to cover up. I watched, it's 
my Ray Ray's review on this foundation and she just got me with her excitement. I was like, I gotta buy that. I literally went on to the website right after I watched her video and I purchased these. So I hope that I like them as much as she did. If you haven't seen her review, which you probably will before you even see this, if you see this at all. But I will link her video in the description box. I also purchased some other blushes because I only have one blush. So I wanted to try some other colors out. I bought two, so maybe I'll do one on this side and then one on this side. And then I'll apply the foundation with... Um, Beauty blender on this side and a brush on this side. I don't have... Do I have? Oh, I do have. I do Yes. Kind of dirty. I should go wash it. It's kind of dirty because when I did my Halloween looks, I used this for paint. So I'm going to go wash this before I apply the foundation. But, um... What was I talking about? God, don't you hate that like when you're in the middle of explaining something or telling a story and you just forget what you're talking about it happens all the time oh okay i remember so <laughs> i'm gonna apply on one side with a beauty blender and the other side with a blush brush i cannot talk right now one with the beauty blender one with the brush and i'm gonna try this blush on this side and this blush on this side. And then I also bought a translucent setting powder. Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna go wash this brush right now and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I cleaned my brush and now I'm gonna go in with my MAC Prep and Prime. You gotta prime your face before putting on foundation. I've only recently started using primer. This was just a sample that was sent to me when i ordered um some of their concealers online i actually really like this primer it's so smooth and hydrating now i'm gonna go in with some swatches actually before i do that please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already and hit that notification button so you won't miss out on any of my new videos this is porcelain well okay Obviously, I'm not this color, but when I do like looks and stuff like that, sometimes I like to use a lighter foundation. I'm going to swatch this on. Let's do my arm. Huh. Oh, oh, I said that. Oh, she thick. She thick. Wow, that's a big swatch. Uh, <laughs> all right. Wait, okay. That, that was a horrible swatch shot. I'm sorry. I can already tell this baby is like full coverage from the way that it's like turning out on my arm. Why does it like look like it's all the way? All right, so that's what it looks like. That's porcelain. So the next shade is Warm Honey. And I actually think this might be my color. Okay, so I watched this one review and it looked like it oxidized quite a bit. So this looks kind of light, but maybe it'll oxidize to my color. The consistency is really thick, but it feels really moussey. This is Warm Honey. I'm doing a really bad swatch job, I'm sorry. It's because my arm doesn't twist like that. This is Warm Honey. This is Golden Beige. Warm Honey and Golden Beige are only one like shade away, I think. Because this one is... I don't know what CLM stands for, but Warm Honey is 358 and Golden Beige is 357. Golden Beige is actually lighter. That's Warm Honey. Or sorry... Golden beige. The last one is Cafe. And this is probably going to be too dark for me. Oh, I keep pumping too much. But Oh yeah, that's too dark. That is too dark. Actually, my arm looks darker. but So I'm actually going to let that dry and see what it looks like. So I can compare it like to my face. I'm going to go in with some of the blush swatches. So this is their Rad Rouge blush. And this is in the color Radical. This is the packaging. Super simple. Comes with a mirror. Hey. And a little brush, which I never use, so. I kinda don't like how this only opens that much. Like, I wish I could open it all the way. This is Radical. Ooh, it feels super soft. It's a really nice color. Why aren't you focusing? Is it focused? The arm looks super weird. It's like a purpley pink fuchsia -y color. Now the second one is called As If. Same consistency. It's more like a bubblegum pink. 
How do people do these? I can't. Super pretty. I really like this color. And the last thing I got from LA Colors is their translucent setting powder. Again, I don't like how it just opens like that. <laughs> but it does come with a mirror and a little sponge. I was so right. This one is my color. I forgot which one. I think it's warm honey. Honey. I damped my beauty blender. Looks super light on me. Hopefully I picked the right color. <laughs> I really hope I picked the right color. How about I I do this side with this color and golden beige on the other. I feel like I picked I feel like I picked the wrong color. See this is why I can't do my eyebrows before my foundation because I always go over my eyebrows. I just always get foundation in my hair. If you don't have any dark spots or blemishes, this is going to be, obviously, this is going to be full coverage for you. But I feel like I could still see my dark spots through it. I didn't conceal or anything. Maybe if I put another layer. Now I'm going to go in on this side with golden beige. Hopefully this dries up to my color because I can't remember. Obviously, I'm going to see when I play this video back, but I don't remember which one's which. I think this one is, I think this one is warm honey, so hopefully it dries to that color. I literally hate this camera sometimes because it'll get really hot and just turn off and it stopped recording. But like I said, I'm going to go in with golden beige and apply that with a brush. Whoa, whoa, it feels really cold. Oh my god. Ooh. This stuff is seriously, alright, I feel like... It's more full coverage when you apply it with a brush. See, this one dried perfectly to my skin tone. This one, nah, nah. I'm just gonna keep going and see how it oxidizes. I don't usually use a brush to apply my foundation. I feel like it takes too long. I feel like a beauty blender is easier. It's just easier for me. And also, like, I feel like it always looks really streaky for me. Yep. Trying to make a video over here. I really can't. I can't do this. I, can't. I just have to use a beauty blender. Don't hate me. This dries super fast too. I haven't even applied powder on this side. And it looks super matte. And the Fenty Beauty foundation is matte too. But it also gives me like a dewy finish. If that makes sense. Like it feels matte. It also looks matte. But it also looks kind of dewy. Like does that make sense? Or no? Alright, this one doesn't look too far from my color. It's a little light, but I feel like I always use a lighter foundation than what my actual skin tone is because I contour like the shit out of my face. So, and I also kind of use it as like my highlighting like stage too because I don't highlight my face a lot, you know? The colors don't look that far off. Like I said, it's only one shade away, but this side matches like perfectly. Goddamn. Yeah, this side is just a little bit lighter. This is one layer. This looks nice. My camera died again! This is already super matte, but just to be safe, I'm gonna go in with the translucent powder, and I'm gonna use their sponge, actually. I never use these the sponges or brushes that come with the little compact thingy-mabobs. I'm gonna go over my eyes first. What the heck? Why is it? I don't like that. Oh, hell no. Oh, okay. It went away. Did you see that? Did you see how it it's still kind of there? What the heck? It just stuck. I don't even know how to explain it, but it was just like a weird texture on my face. I'm not gonna go in with a brush. See, this is why I don't use the sponges or the little shitty brushes that come along with the compact. I'm just gonna go in with my big fluffy brush and set this. Smells really weird. Smells like almost like plasticky. Or like, oh, you know what it smells like? It smells like paint. That's what it smells like. I feel weird putting this on my face now. I think I put it on too late because now I'm already creasing. Oh my god. No. No. Mm -mm. No, I don't like this. I don't like it. Whoa. Well, it feels super smooth though. Wow. 
super lightweight super super lightweight now i'm gonna go in with my Too faced bronzer in the color deep tan mm, i like how it goes on with my bronzer it like doesn't wipe away any of the product if you saw my fenty beauty review it kind of did that when i was squishing my brush around <laughs> But this foundation is super matte, like more matte than the Fenty Beauty. Also, with the Fenty Beauty, I would say it's medium to full coverage. You kind of have to build it up. This one, I only applied one layer. And I feel like if I applied another layer, I would be super, super duper full coverage. Right now, I'm not pretty full coverage. Just my um, dark spot is still kind of showing through. You see it? You see it? I'm not really great at covering up my dark spots, to be honest. So if anyone has any tips on that, I would greatly appreciate that. I'm just gonna continue bronzing. And I love this Too Faced bronzer, but I wish they came out with a darker color. This is the darkest shade, and this is this is not even that dark at all, I feel like. I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fits Me Loose Finishing Powder. I'm gonna take some on this like little flat angled brush I'm gonna chisel out my cheeks ba bam now I'm gonna contour my nose oh I'm contouring with this brush I always go into like this little divot right here I'm gonna clean off that flat top brush and I always blend out my con my nose contour with this brush I'm gonna dust this off I'm actually going to take some of that powder again, chisel out my nose. I'm gonna dust that off. I feel like it just makes my nose look more. I just noticed my lips are super crusty. I'm sorry you had to look at that. There, does it look super plump now? I just scrubbed the shit out of my lips. I'm going to apply some Burt's Bees chapstick, and this is the peppermint one. I love this one. Mm, gives you like that burning sensation. Mm. Okay, ow. It's burning a little bit too much. Right now, it's time for the blush. I'm gonna put Radical. This is the more purpley color that I showed you earlier. And then I'm gonna put the more bubblegum pink, as if, on this side. Hmm. Color. Now I'm gonna apply as if. That's what it looks like. And if I take these off. Oh no, it made it worse. I'm just gonna let the light do its own thing, okay? So I just finished my eyebrows and my eyes. And now I'm just going to go in with some setting spray so that I can apply some highlight. For the setting spray, I'm using the one by NYX and this is in the dewy finish. I'm going to go into my Sweet Highlighter Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Taffy. And then for the top, I'm going to go into, what is this, Marshmallow. So this is Taffy. And then on just the top part, I'm going to go in with Marshmallow. See the difference? I want to use a nude lipstick since my eye makeup's like kind of out there. So I'm going to use my ColourPop Cosmetics. Um, I think this is Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Times Square. This is what it looks like. Really, really loving this highlight. Now I'm going to take a picture with flash. See if I get any flashback. No flashback. Let me see. Let me get up close. This is the foundation up close. But yeah, the foundation dries super fast, super matte, super lightweight, and medium to full coverage. That was it for this review. I love doing reviews like this. I think it's super fun, and also I just like getting new stuff, so...
go ahead and check out its my ray rays review on this foundation that's where i found out about this this is actually my first time purchasing any of la colors makeup i actually really like their stuff just the translucent setting powder i don't know what it is with translucent pressed setting powders but they just seem to not work for me and i've tried other pressed powders and uh loose powders too i think i tried the one from elf i think just any translucent one doesn't work with my skin i find that loose powders work better for me and just dipping my um, damp beauty blender into the powder and pressing it into my skin rather than using pressed setting powders actually the maybelline fit me pressed powders work really well for my skin but i've never used the sponge that came with it i always use my big fluffy brush to just pat it on and then when i want to bake then i dip into some loose powder with my beauty blender and press that in especially under my eyes um right here because i seem to crease a lot here and my forehead but i didn't bake at all with this foundation thank you for watching don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you are not already and don't forget to hit that notification button so you can be notified of when i release new videos stay caked stay fierce and i'll see you in the next one bye Look. Yay! It's like waterproof. Oh, that's beautiful. How do you get it off then? You can't. You can't. It stays on forever. <laughs> so that would be cool. <laughs> you have like so it comes off now with soap. Less skin. Coming off with soap. Oh, that's cool.